gang, what's up? Welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Thanks for tuning in, man. And I just I just want you guys to know that every single day, you know, I appreciate everybody that tunes in to watch the videos. Um, I definitely don't take that for granted. So uh, welcome to the channel and thanks a lot for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna address another subscriber question. We've been getting some good subscriber questions lately. And also feel free to shoot me. If you guys got some ideas for uh, topics that you want me to cover on some of the videos, <coughs> feel free to shoot them this way because I've been getting some good ones in there. And the subscriber question we had today was uh, they wanted to some information on what to look for in an outboard motor. So I'm gonna give you guys a, a overview of a lot of different considerations if you're looking to buy one or trade up or new or used or whatever, um, give you guys some good info there. Real quick before we get started, just wanted to give you guys the weekly reminder. If you guys are interested in helping support the channel here, one of the best ways you can do that is becoming a member of the channel. As a member, you get additional videos every week that aren't seen by the public. Um, some memberships have access to my personal email address, and you can get all the information on that by just going to the homepage banner. Right at the bottom right-hand side, there's a little tab, and you can click on it. It says Intuitive Memberships, and that will give you all the info there. Much appreciated. Okay, guys, I, I've had a lot of experience with motors. Um, I've had... Ever since I've had a boat, I got my first boat when I was 16 years old. I had a nine horsepower motor on it, um, 1967 model. And <clears throat> as part of my partnerships with companies in professional fishing, I've gotten a new boat almost every year for the past 35 plus years. So I've had those motors. And horsepower range over the years, I've had a nine horse, I've had a 28, I've had a five, I've had a 50, a 150, 175, a 225. Uh, so I haven't just had all 250 horsepower motors. So a couple of different considerations with this. Um, a lot of the guys that watch the show or watch the channel here, I, you know, they don't have 250 horsepower motors or, or big boats. You know, they have smaller boats. So I'll give you guys some sort of tips and advice on that. First of all, um, you know, you guys know that follow me, you know, I use Yamaha outboards. I, they, for me, they've been the most reliable outboard that I've ever used. I don't want this to sound like a commercial. Um, I'm going to preface that in saying that all the outboard motors are good. Mercury, all of them, they're, they're all high quality motors. They're all excellent choices. Um, but the Yamaha that I have, it's it's been completely bulletproof all the time that I've had it. So I'm really comfortable with that, especially the four stroke aspect on it. One of the things that you're going to have to consider um, when you're purchasing a boat um, and a lot of this depends if you're purchasing a used rig or a new rig, is if you want to go two-stroke or four-stroke. Guys, there's so much advantage to going to a four-stroke motor. I don't care if you're if you're in a 10-horse motor or a 250-horse motor. Four-stroke motors, um, they, they have a lot cleaner emissions, they're better fuel mileage, they're, they're more trouble-free, you don't have to mess with mixing oil in them. They're, they're such a really good invention that if you if you can if, it, if it's within your means to get a four stroke, I would highly recommend it. Um, they're, they're just really good. And if you do get a two stroke, um, most of the time you're gonna be dealing with an older motor or motor that's a little bit older. So if you do choose to go to a four, uh, two stroke, um, just make sure everything's running good on it, get a compression check good on the thing, have it checked over, uh, make sure everything is running in a good condition. Two-stroke motors are, are very reliable too, but they're not as good as four-stroke motors. So try to stay with the four-stroke. Another consideration um, is how to horsepower your motor as far as how to power it. Um, you don't have to have, the, it, just because a boat says it's rated for whatever horsepower, you don't have to have it. One of my first boats that I had, it was rated for 115 horsepower, and I had a 50 horse motor on that on that boat, and it did just fine with the thing. It was a little slow getting out of the hole, but I could still run, you know, 30 miles an hour with it. It was plenty good for me. So, if you're in a situation where you don't fish a lot of tournaments and you don't run long distances, don't feel like that you have to, you know, get an outboard motor that is, you know, what what it's rated for. If you stay within you know, 10 to 20 horsepower, maybe 30 horsepower of the of the maximum rated uh, engine on that particular boat. You're still going to get some good performance, um, and you're going to save a lot of a lot of gas money with that. I, you know, in my own opinion, if I had to, if I 
didn't fish tournaments and I just fished for fun all the time, I would probably have a 50 horse motor on some type of a 16 foot boat. Um, I just don't, wouldn't feel the need to have to have that high horsepower motor with, to go with that and everything. But it's basically pretty simple. You just sort of have to figure out what your needs are. Um, there's a big difference between needs and wants and everybody out there has a different budget. Um, budget's a big consideration. It always has been for me when I bought boats, you know, before I started fishing professionally. So try to determine what your wants versus your needs are with that. And the good thing about it, if you're looking for a used outboard, um, there's a lot of good bargains out there. I mean, there's a lot of turnover in, in the used outboard motor, motor, in the used outboard motor market, as well as the used boat market. So you have a lot to choose from. There's a lot of options out there. But the main thing with it, guys, is just get something that you're comfortable with, pay attention, you know, to the condition it's in, have it checked out good, and uh, I think you'll be pretty happy with that. Also, if you, if you guys are interested in a new or used outboard or boat, um, I'll include the Boatworks link in the description. They're super great people to work with, and they, if, you, if they don't have it, they can find what you're looking for, so um, we'll do that there. But anyway, just a few quick tips, quick video on outboard motors. Um, much appreciated you guys checking the video and we'll, uh, we'll check with you all soon. See ya.